to set the total flow in the oxygen flow, you will want to look at page 16 of the manual, and this shows the concentrator flow, which is the same as in the oxygen flow and the total flow for two different patients. And these are typical settings for these patients, but you can always adjust them. So for our neonatal patient, we're going to set the concentrator to three liters per minute, confirm that the oxygen flow is three liters per minute, and then set the total flow to six liters per minute. So I will take my oxygen tubing from the concentrator. I've set my concentrator to three liters per minute. I will connect it here at the oxygen port. Make sure it is firmly on the oxygen port. And then you will confirm that the oxygen flow is three liters here. Next, I will set the total flow. This should be six liters per minute. So you will need to increase or decrease until you're at six liters. So now that I've set both of the flows, I will take my patient tubing. On the end of the patient tubing are the prongs. And when you pinch the prongs, you should see bubbling in the water and you know that your Pumani is now ready to go on the patient. If you would like to set other oxygen flow and total flow rates, you can go to the oxygen blending table found on top of the unit. First, you will determine the fraction of inspired oxygen level that you want to deliver to the patient. For example, if we choose 50% FiO2, you then choose your total flow rate, which we will choose at seven. And then where these two values meet is your setting for your oxygen flow. So you will set the concentrator or tank to four liters per minute and your total, total flow rate to seven liters per minute. On my table here, I have things that I need to put a baby on CPAP. Here I have the OGT. This is my tube that I'm going to put in the mouth for feeding. And I have a tube here for suctioning. We use it for suctioning. And I have my feeding syringe here that we're going to use for when feeding the baby. And I have a saline on my syringe to moisture the nostril of the baby. So I have my patient here. This is a premature baby in neonatal ward who is having respiratory distress, I'm going to put an OGT for feeding because the baby can't take orally. And before putting the NGT, the baby is having some secretion on the nostril and on the mouth. So I'll try to suck first, then insert an OGT. So I have my suction tube here. First of all, I'm going to measure from the nostril to the ear, then halfway. So this, the length that I have is the length that will go inside the, the, the nostril of baby when sucking. I'll start suctioning. This is connected to the, to the machine, to the suction machine. I'll start in the nose. Usually we'll have a bowl, a bowl of water near you to clear the tube. If I know that the nose are clear, I go into the mouth. I will also suck. It should go the size that I have measured. I will suck, then out. I know that the air now is clear. I want to put the feeding tube. Since the baby is having spiritual distress, we are going to put this feeding tube in the mouth because the nose will be plugged with prongs. So I'll also measure from the corner of the mouth to the ear. Then to the sternum of the baby. Then I'll mark my length of the tube that I need to insert in the mouth. I'll use a very small tape to know the, the round. This would be the length that I need for 
feeding. This is just to remind me uh, the length of the tube that I want to insert on the baby. So I will insert in the mouth because the nose are going to be plucked with the prongs. So I've inserted up to, to the length that I needed. Then I'll put a, a tape to hold the OGT. This is my tape to hold the OGT for the baby. And I'll make sure I'll test if my tube is in the stomach. So I've got my water for testing here. There's no bub bubbling in the water. That it means the, my, my tube is in the stomach. If there are bubbles in the water, it means the tube is not in the right position. It's maybe it's in the air. You have to, rem to remove everything and start again. There's another way of testing. If you don't have to use the water, we test by the syringe. I'll try to aspirate to make sure the tube is inside the mouth. So there's abdominal contest coming, therefore my tube is light in the stomach. Then I'll close the end of the tube. 